What's up, my friends, and welcome to The Witcher 2 Assassins of Kings Enhanced Edition. I can't begin to tell you how excited I am to play this game finally. I just couldn't wait to jump right back into the world of The Witcher after completing The Witcher 1. Now, if you are new to my channel and you want to get up to speed on what's going on, I do have a uh, playlist of The Witcher 1 and it will be in the link down below if you are interested in diving right into it and seeing what choices we made in the uh, story to lead up to this point. Witcher 2, like I'm at a loss of words because I'm just completely excited to play this. I know a little bit about this game towards the end of Witcher, well actually the end of Witcher 1, basically that's all I really know and what's going on into this game. Obviously we do know that it is definitely enhanced with the graphics and such so I don't really know how the gameplay is going to be but we will obviously see how it is in time how different it's going to be from the first one I've heard a lot of uh, different stuff about this game compared to the first one and such a little about myself I am a completionist gamer at heart I want to do all the quests in this game I will try to do everything I possibly can obviously this is going to be blind so we are gonna see how that goes I will be reading every single thing in this game if you find me talking from Geralt's POV at times that's just how it is my friends I just enjoy this game I immerse myself so much into the character and I just get lost into the uh, greatness of the world of the Witcher here and not even that just any game I play so I also did read all the books. I have never played any of the games until this point. So I felt like I did myself a great service by reading the books ahead of time and then jumping into the games after I read the books. Obviously, I know this is an adaptation of what the books actually are. So I can tell you right from now, from experience, the first game was absolutely amazing from the point of view of just how it kind of leads off from the books and I can imagine I've heard great things about this one and the third one that it's just so much more lore friendly to the books and such so we're gonna see how that goes um I'm just super excited to get into it now there was a cutscene in the beginning of this I did not see it and I will show it to you guys here in a second when I am done rambling
Holy moly, friends. What is it with The Witcher and its cutscenes, cinematics that it has going on here? That was amazing. Now, a few things we want to talk about with that cinematic there. We got, it looks like, I'm guessing that's probably Edern's King because that was Edern's symbol on the, uh, the jacket of like the archer and all the people. So that must have been Demoven getting assassinated there, which is crazy. And then they there was another Witcher again. And I don't know what kind of medallion that was. It looked like a... It vaguely looked like a snake. I don't know if that was a snake or if that was just some kind of other symbols or whatnot. It looked to me like... Because Witcher's schools are kind of off of animals and such. So that could very well have been a snake, but I don't really know. School with a snake? I've never heard of that. I don't know, friends. I am just super ecstatic and super excited to uh, get into this. I'm freaking geeking out over here. It's going to be fun. It's going to be one hell of a ride. Uh, Witcher 1 was one hell of a ride. So if you enjoy a good laugh, Sit back, enjoy the show, enjoy the ride, friends, because this is going to be a long one, and we are just going to dig our uh, teeth into this game and just sit back and enjoy every aspect of this game. I do want to say one more thing before we head out into the game. Um, I downloaded this game on GOG.com or whatever it is, the GOG uh, website, and this game came with an interesting bunch of add-ons and such, one of which was a file that said Triss's Playboy Session. So I'm not sure if that was a thing in this game or if that's some kind of thing in this game or if it was just CD Projekt Red doing a little fan service for Triss. But yeah, damn right I looked at it. Yep, it was damn good, friends. <laughs> it was, let's just say it was interesting. That's all I gotta say. But anyways, there was one more cutscene cinematic that I do want to show you guys before we head out, so let's go ahead and dig into that right now, shall we? Witcher, or Witchers, an elite and mysterious cast of warrior monks. In popular lore, they're portrayed as possessing magic powers and superhuman abilities. Witchers were believed to combat evil spirits, ghastly monsters, and all manner of dark forces. It's possible that witches had animal eyes, which granted them sight in near darkness, rendering survival probable in encounters with fiends both subterranean and nocturnal, kobolds, vampires and ghouls. Witches used their silver swords to kill creatures of magic provenance, wraiths, cursed souls and striggers. With their swords of meteorite steel, they felled non-magic beasts, and the occasional human who refused to pay for services rendered. In combat, witches would go into a trance, induced, it's supposed, through self-hypnosis or the consumption of intoxicants. They fought with blind abandon, sensing absolutely no pain, ignoring even serious injuries, which fed fears and superstitions about their unearthly powers. There is little doubt that witches were perceived to be vile beings who could bring misfortune down upon common folk with their gaze alone. The heroes of fairy tales and other yarns, witchers entered the folklore of the Nordlings. This is true of one especially, Geralt the Riv, known as the White Wolf. Listen now to one of the legends about him. So I do have a few mods into the game as well. Um, there are They are going to be in the link down below. If you are interested in seeing which one, they are literally quality of life mods, nothing too groundbreaking. There was a texture or a graphics upgrade a few other ones as well, something to do with some armor, I believe, and I believe there's something to do with a few other things, but it is literally just make your life easier, nothing too out of the ordinary stuff. So nothing that's going to break the game in half, so yes, because this is a blind let's play. Anyways, let's just jump right into the game, friends. I'm excited. I can't wait. I just don't even know what to do with my hands here. Let's just press some buttons, huh? Import Witcher 1 save. Yes. We have two saves here. Icy Plains was saving before. I'm pretty sure this is the one I saved after. Where's the auto saves? There's no auto save. Interesting. 
This is the one I did after we got back from the icy plains, before we taught the dandelion and ended the game completely. So this is probably the best uh, save then. Do you want to do tutorial? There is modes here I see on the side, which we will talk about them. I guess after this tutorial? You want to begin the tutorial? Sure. Here we go, friends. Holy moly, The Witcher 2. I'm going to knock someone the hell out with art again, I'm telling you. I'm so curious to see how this uh, combat is going to be. It already looks freaking amazing. Open the tutorial panel, we'll pause the game so that you can read the contents at your leisure. Hints can also be found outside the tutorial panel when you initiate the new quest. The text beneath the minimap on the right of the screen will tell you what to do. Pay close attention to the tutorial panels, friends. Alright, let's just uh, skip that, huh? Controls, we got the rotate, we got this, pressing buttons, we got the alt thing. You can toggle between running and walking. Alright. Damn the leaky boat. My boots are soaked. Yet another boggy shithole. Hell yeah, Geralt. Look at you, man. You look absolutely freaking amazing. Holy moly. He looks different. He even sounds a bit different. He sounds uh, better, friends. Picking up loot. Stand near the container and click on it to bring up the list of contents. Press space to take everything. Easy peasy. So you can just take it regularly like this or press space. Awesome. Open the inventory panel and browse through the items Geralt has acquired. So you can press the delete button and delete. Pretty easy enough. Press I to open the inventory, sure. So what do we have here? What did it want us to do? Tournament announcement. Notice about a tournament in the Grand Arena. One of the mods I did indeed put was a mod that made everything bigger. I am just blind. I'm getting old, friends. I'm telling you. My eyes just aren't what they were, so I need big old letters slapping me in the face for me to even read them. Tournament in the Grand Arena. Warriors of the world, knights, gladiators, soldiers, and armed ladies. The Grand Arena, famous throughout the north as... The site of the ultimate combat trials. Open its gates before you. Demonstrate your courage and sword skills. Claim the glory and the coin due to true heroes. Those acknowledged as worthy of the tournament will receive an invitation, enabling them to enter the grand arena and win the eternal fame. All right. Squire boots, quest item. What are these boots? How do I... Squire boots, plus one, two, incineration. Let's put them on. I'm pretty sure it did say something about putting the boots on, yeah? Hell yeah, baby. The journal has been updated. Open the view it. the full description of the quest. Let's look at journal. Step by step, follow the path through the forest, friends. You have asked me to tell you of Geralt's feats in the arena, yet I recall another adventure, a brief one. That took place just before the Witcher reached the town where he would gain everlasting glory. It all began with a leaky boat, soaked boots, and a bad mood. What a dreary place it was. A gloomy forest, a deserted muddy path, and the terrifying cries of necrophages feasting on a corpse. The penniless local peasants had shut down the doors of their hut, and only a single voice could be heard. It was the voice of a man in the throes of death. Cool. Is that, like, the journal? It seems like someone is narrating that. It said, let me tell you... Hold on, let me look at it again. See, you have asked me to tell you Geralt's feats in the arena. Is somebody actually, like, narrating this story, it seems? That is super cool, man. Holy moly. So where are we supposed to go? Move towards the object. Short hint can be found under the mini-map to the right of the screen. Alright, well, it's telling me to go up here. Talk to the character, point the camera at him or her, and press the application button. Excuse me, how are you there, Bolton of Ironford? Who are you? I'm not gonna hurt you, 
Will you let me look at your wounds? Odd. You don't resemble a traveling preacher. Oh, damn the dogs, it hurts to talk. I wager my arm is the only thing keeping me in one piece. I'll find some help. Futile, I'm afraid. Around here, folk don't open their doors to strangers. You would do well to find my squire. I'd like to thrash his hide for fleeing from those corpse-eaters. Consider it my final wish. I found his body by the river. Listen, let me brew you a health potion. You're no witcher, so it could kill you. But if I'm not mistaken, you already think you're dead. There's a slim chance that your body will quell the toxins and regenerate. I'll expire in this hole before I let someone turn me into a mutant. That's not how it works. Stay calm and lie still. I need to find some herbs. You have begun a new quest phase, the object marker on the mini-map at the right corner of the screen. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Go to the indication on the mini-map, find the plants you need to prepare the potion. So he wants a potion? Is he gonna die? Unless we're doing a healing potion here, a natural healing? Witcher's medallion. Use the medallion to detect nearby containers, herbs, monsters, places of power, and threats. So this is just like, um... I have played a game that is literally just like this. I will not spoil it and talk about other games right now, but there is a, indeed another game that I have played with this whole ping in the area for loot type of stuff. It's very interesting. Use the herbs you found, all right. To prepare a potion bomb or oil, you must have both in the formulae, the tail and the composition, as well as the ingredients containing the substances listed in the formulae. Mixtures can only be prepared while meditating. So you can get this stuff from shopkeepers and or various locations, obviously. E is to bring up the quick menu. Awesome. Oh, I like that. That's cool. Meditation? This game is very different, friends. It's like a whole different freaking game here. So we have the indication things again. Virtual Rebus Calcium. So there's some new ones. That is cool. They are definitely crossing that over from the Witcher 1 as well. We will need to see if we can make secondary whole things again like we were able to do on the first one. All right, well, let's go ahead and make this. Looks like it's got everything. Take the potion to the wounded knight. Come here, Bolton. Where are you, pal? Here you go, bub. Knock back this potion. Try not to vomit. Drink it. Ah! You're still alive, so that bodes well. But you've got a ways to go before you're at full health. Now you have to sit and wait. You're no mutant, so it'll be a couple of days before you recover and we can get you out of here. Thank you, Witcher. Oh, hallowed grieve! Didn't have the chance earlier. I'm Geralt of Rivia. Bolton of Ironfoot. Ooh, this is... Way different. It's usually down here, and I can just take the mouse all over the screen if I want to. Holy moly, you can even pick Geralt's nose if we want to, friends. Time to get into this now. Come on. I wanted to try my luck in the arena, but some corpse eaters surprised me. My horse reared, and I came crashing down in full armor. They pounced upon me with their claws. Though broken, I managed to drive them off and crawl here. Pitiful story, but there it is. Hmm. That could mean some paid work for me. Doubtful. If the corpses weren't eaten, they would rot, emit a stench, and breed pestilence. Ah! Oh, damn the dogs! Those who fall in the arena, their bodies are cast into the ravine. The dead offer little in terms of diversion, I'm afraid. Except perhaps to monsters. Get well, Bolton of Ironford. And farewell. You must take my invitation. If but half of what I've heard about witches is true, you ought to manage well in the arena. Thanks, Bolton. I thank you. 
And now, Geralt of Rivia, if you've no objection, I would finally like to get some sleep. You now have an invitation to the arena located in the town. Go there and take part in the tournament. I must say, friends, one of the most thing I was literally just... That drove me just insane with wanting to play this game was I wanted to see how they portrayed Geralt in this. Because we did see him in that trailer and like, I wanted to see if the voice actor just got better, you know? Geralt was very dry in the first game, he didn't really say many words, you know? Obviously that game was way older than this, but wow, this guy is a huge step up from the first game. Like, it's literally night and day. I can't, it's, it's, it's almost like I can't believe CD Projekt Red actually made this game from the first game. It is a huge improvement, like, beyond, it just, it's just huge. Can we read that? Hold on. The invitation here? Invitation to the Grand Arena, baby! Haven't heard about your exceptional combat skills, undisputably knight's virtues, courteous manners, and unquestioned courage. We are honored to invite you to test your abilities in the Grand Arena. Famous throughout the North, in the Grand Arena, where victory is always awarded to the best man, you will have a chance to claim the glory and fame befitting a true great warrior. You need not arrive alone as the rules allow for a squire or a different armed companion. Can we put more? So we got this. This is an interesting menu. It's actually very kind of straightforward. It doesn't really... Obviously this looks like it's quest items, but it doesn't look like it's very hard to deal with. So far this game controls and everything that's got that's thrown at us is very... Seems very easy actually. Can we click on any of these doors? Probably not. Arena time, friends. Holy moly. Who stalks the night? Be gone, cursed soul, or I'll stick the hounds on ya! Got corpse eaters on this side, so I'll take your hounds any day. A jester, eh? You're all jesters. You all think you're droll till you enter the arena. No room for joking around in there! I'm not trying to be funny. I'm soaked and I'm freezing. Let me in. Ah! A vampire! I'll not let a bloodsucker in. Oh no! I've got eels in garlic here. What do you say to that? I'll gladly submit to the eels and garlic trial, and the running water trial, and the beer trial. Who knows what you are? Evil crawls the night, corrupting the righteous. I'll wait for morn for the cock to crow. If the rising sun don't scare you off, I'll let you in. You want me to wait here? You there! All right. Let's find a place to rest. You're a damn vampire, girl. They aren't letting you in, you foul beast. Meditate to a predetermined hour instead of waiting in the meditation panel. You can holy moly, no more campfires, friends. We can just freaking meditate at will. Holy shit. This is too much. I mean, look at it. We got all the signs already, obviously, because Geralt still has his memory from the first game to this point, but he's probably still going all amnesia on us still. Pretty hardcore, I can imagine. So this green is alchemy, character, meditate, and drink potions. What'd they say? Meditate till dawn? Until the cock crows? Well, there's the cock. Let us in. We want to whoop somebody's ass, friend. Still there, foul soul! Yeah, I'm still here. And the cock has crowed. As far as being foul, well, I may smell a bit. Has it got an invitation? It has. Then it may enter. Good luck to it in the arena! Hell yeah, friends. I'm gonna whoop somebody's ass. This can go two ways. Either gonna whoop somebody's ass or they're gonna whoop our ass. So one to draw steel sword and two to draw your silver sword. Cool. Steel sword, baby. Let's do it. Rotate the camera towards the opponent you want to attack. Easy peasy. Aim at the skinny guy. 
Aim at the fat opponent. Aim at the armored one. That's easy. Press. What am I pressing? What am I supposed to press? It was nothing on there, but I did keybind stuff. Oh yeah! Come here, you suckers! Holy moly! I think I get this, though I may need to re-keybind that button there that makes me look at them. Vigor is represented by the yellow bar in the upper left corner of the screen. Vigor drops every time you parry an opponent's strike or cast a sign. Low Vigor will prevent you from casting signs, though it will not limit your ability to parry. Cool. I think we got it. Come on in, buddy. Get out of here. Oh, we gotta die, friends. Holy moly, this is so different. Can't catch me, pal. Nope. I get it. Counter your opponent's attack with a repose. To repose, hold down the parry key and attack when the repose marker comes up. So it's the sword here. I got it. Oh, yeah. Each time you cast a sign, you lose one point in Vigor. Vigor is represented by the yellow bar in the upper left corner of the screen. Low Vigor will prevent you from casting signs, obviously. Come here and knock you the hell out. Booyah! See ya! In addition to dealing regular damage, Geralt and his foes can inflict critical effects in combat. These additional effects induced by attacks remain active for a certain time. The stun and knockdown effects allow Carol to finish off opponents instantly. Cool. Well, let's whoop his ass. See ya. Cruelly murdered your ass, pal. The bottom of the uh, right of the screen, it's got like a little thingy down here showing your damage. This is cool. Select a sign by pressing the corresponding key E. E brings up the menu here. Awesome. Is that like a pause? Is, yeah, that's going to be our pause button in combat, it seems. Because it seems like it's still barely moving. Cool. Well, what sign did it want us to press? Critical effects on Geralt. The mage has dealt an incineration effect on Geralt. The witcher will take additional damage along the effect remains. Holy moly. The mage has dealt significant damage with his spells. Your vitality represented by the red bar in the upper left corner of the screen. Okay. The defensive Quen absorbs damage dealt by your foes to reflect part of the absorbed damage back at the opponent. I get it. Oh, when active, the Quen sign halts all vigor regeneration. Oh, that sucks. But it looks like it gets the fire off of me. But we can't regenerate vigor. Holy moly. The Axie sign allows you to temporarily control your, of your foes. So we just gotta keep it held in, it looks like. The Erden sign is a magical trap that is traced on the ground, Erden traps and mobilize opponents, obviously. So yeah, we gotta hold it in, looks like. Whoa! That's a lot different from the first one. It was like spike traps in the first one. Press A to finish all the gargoyle off. See ya! Have a good one, pleb. Fucking wrecked them. I'm getting it, friends. So we gotta hold Axie in, though. Place an item in a quick spot. Open the inventory and drag the item in, like, bombs, traps, daggers, and lore. See, I wonder if that's gonna be more effective. I heard that, like, bombs, traps, and daggers and such is way more effective in these games compared to what it was in the other ones, even oils and such. I will probably do that this uh, time around. 
Retrieve all the items from the chest. Okay, sure. Place the bomb straps and daggers you retrieved in the quick slots. Where's quick slots at? Oh, okay, so it's highlighting over here when you... Easy peasy. Traps. Algar Winter. Sanum. How do we do with that now? Scroll through the quick slots, items, and your bomb. Select lures and daggers previously placed in the quick spot. So the tilde is to... Oh, the tilde is to go through them. I get it. Zero is to press. Like, I keybind all this stuff. It, w it was... When I looked at the settings, it looked very weird. So I don't know. We'll probably have to keybind again because things are... What does it want me to do? Select bombs. Excuse me. Have a bomb, pal. Oh, I can't hit him. You want another one? Eat that sucker. Hell yeah, bombs are cool, man. Place the trap down. Oh, that might be a burden. Because it takes like a... Looks like it takes time to put the trap down. It's not instant. Come on over. See ya. Oh, that hurt. So select daggers and toss daggers at a guy. Oh, you can aim them by holding the button in. Oh, it slows down time, I think. Where's it? Where's it at? There it is. Hey. Hey man, let me cast something, huh? Oh yeah. Cutting you up. <laughs> so aiming is kind of weird. I can't see the reticle. Oh there it is. It's barely visible. Over the first six levels, you will only be able to unlock abilities from the training path. As you acquire more talents, you will be able to spend them on abilities from the three remaining paths. Magic, Alchemy, and Swordship. Interesting. Mutagens. Mutagens can be used to modify some of Geralt's abilities. To use a mutagen, go to the character development panel and find an ability with a mutagen slot on the training path. Place a mutagen in the slot to upgrade the ability. Search the corpse of slain monsters and find a mutagens. Cool. I think I understand here. S said C. Oh, this is a lot different, friends. So this path is locked. This is locked. And this is locked. I'm not sure which path I'm going to go. From what I was reading is that most of this stuff in this game and the third one, you kind of got to pick a path. You're not going to be able to get everything. So... I'm thinking maybe this time we'll do sword ship and signs, maybe alchemy. I really want to do alchemy. I know I want to do alchemy towards the third game because the third one is very much open world from what I heard. And alchemy seems like it could be useful considering we're going to be going around getting plants and shit probably. So... This game, I don't know. We'll see what we're going to do. We'll just we'll just wing it. So what did it say? Just pick something? So all this stuff. Upgrade parian. That's one. It says one of two. Arrow reflection. Vitality. Let's do this one. And what did it want us to do? Put a mutagen in? I don't want to... It says hit enter. So mutagen. This one does plus one damage. Mutate ability. So the mutagen put into the circle, it has a circle and a little tiny circle. And I get it. Let's mutate, I guess. Makes sense, see? See this little circle here? That's the mutated thing. Let's do it. Enter the character development screen, spend all your abilities. Retrieve all the items, final trial. Your final trial awaits. Make sure to prepare as you're about to face three waves of opponents before the trial begins. Explore the chest in the arena and use the things you'll find there. Drink some potions as well. Begin the final trial by stepping into the highlight. All right, I get it. I get it. Can we level up again or? Oh, we're done. Holy moly. Preparing for combat, your next fight requires some preparations. Begin drinking several potions. You should 
find in the chest in the arena. Each potion consumes increases toxicity. Yeah, yeah, I get it. So, let's look at this. Because it says something about... Let's put Grape Shot over here. Sanum. Winter thing. We got Venom. This thing. The daggers was interesting, but we'll put it on there anyway. Let's see. Insectoid. This would probably be... Damage to insectoids. Let's do silver sword for that then. This is really easy. It's very self-explanatory. Very cool. I like it. I like the whole feel of all this, friends. It's great. So this is Hangman's Venom. We got that shit from Gramps in the first game, remember? Damage of the human, 20%. Hell yeah. Now, it said go to the meditation screen to drink potions. Maribor Forest. Potion significantly increases vigor while reducing vitality and chance to causing critical effects. Really? I don't know if I like that. So it just gives us plus one vigor, but minus 30% vitality, bleeding poison no-no. I'm not, I'm not using that. And obviously swallow is swallow. I don't know if I like them negative effects, friends. Quit the tutorial anytime by exiting through the arena's main gates. All right, well, let's just try it out. Let's see how it is here, because I want to actually get to the game and we're doing nothing but a tutorial of the first episode, friends. Let's just see what the hell we can do here. Because I would like to see the very beginning of the game at least before we head out. Come on, big guy. Let's do it, friend. Let's get bombs on board. Holy moly! Oh, yeah. Here, well, you're... Not doing much this guy, friend. Say ya. Uh, have a good one. You want some? I like the whole block thing. That's pretty cool. Come on. Oh, yeah. Guy's hard to hit. Say ya, holy moly! Come on, big boy. Oh yeah! Holy fucking uppercut at me! Can we get behind him? Oh! Oh! Stuck in the corner here. This is very, uh, rough. Can I knock people? Uh, probably not. Oh yeah, come on. I'm getting wrecked, friends. Come on in, dwarfy. Wrecked them, see ya. Holy moly, what the hell is that? A rot fiend. Uh, we gotta get silver out here. Holy shit. Goodbye, sucker. Holy moly, that was great, Geralt. Come here, Meiji. Come on, mage. Holy shit. Oh, fuck. Where the hell did that thing come from? Oh, come on, guys. He wrecked me. Gave me the old one, too. Normal? Hell no. I ain't going out like that. <laughs> it wants us to put it on normal? Well, I mean, we did get wrecked there, but come on. That wasn't that hard. It surprised me. I wasn't ready. Manual selection. Hell yeah, we're doing manual. So... From what I'm aware is, uh, at least we didn't get easy, I guess. <laughs> Fucking normal. That golem destroyed me, friends. Holy moly. Um, insane is one death. From what I was reading, you literally have one save. I am not doing that. And dark mode is interesting because dark mode is, if not as hard as insane from what I hear, 
But Dark Mode actually has different armors that you can create just specifically by using or playing this mode. And that goes hand in hand with the mods that I downloaded. I downloaded something for a couple of things for Dark Armor, so where it makes it to where it's not unbearable because it was showing what I did see was the um, something on the lines of the effects of wearing dark armor makes the screen very dark and hazy, obviously the name dark. So I took that to where it takes the haziness off the screen. It's modded out of the game. So it's going to look like it's just normal, which would just drive me crazy if we would do that. But I'm going to play on dark, friends. I'm not playing this game on fucking normal, easy or hard. I want to do this dark armor shit. It sounds so interesting and intriguing. And it's going to do hand in hand with uh, completion of stuff because I want to just, I just want to do it. I want to make cool armor and put time into this game more than uh, just doing this easy crap. So that's just not me. I'm not going out like that. So let's do dark. Here we go, baby. Indeed, naught is more repulsive than these monsters that defy nature and are known by the name of Witcher. As they are an offspring of foul sorcery and witchcraft, unscrupulous scoundrels without conscience or virtue, they are veritable creatures from hell capable of only taking lives. Monstrum, a betrayal of Witchers, anonymous. Six years have passed since the memorial day when the Northern Kingdoms, their forces united, defeat the host of Nilfgaard in open battle at Brenna. Famine and disease reign in all the North. Elves and dwarves inhabit ghettos in ever-increasing numbers. They flee to the forest to join Scoia'tael units. In Samaria, an identified assassin attempts to murder King Foltest. The killer dies at the hands of Geralt of motherfucking Rivia, a professional monster slayer, baby. A month passes. On the banks of the Ponto River, Foltest's army is victorious once more, ending civil strife in the country, yet the price of this triumph proves immense. Tamaria, the year 1271. Looks like Lambert and Berengar? Was that Berengar? It looked exactly like Berengar, the one on the right. How cool. The dungeon of the Lava Lake Castle three days after the battle. Prologue, baby. Come on, sixes. Daddy needs you. Oh, shit. Ha! 20 orange to granddad. <laughs> Looky there, he's awake. You daft! Don't go in there! Shut it, he's in chains, can't do a thing. Am I right, Master Geralt? <laughs> roll again! Why? The dice didn't roll! Calling me a cheat? Take it back. Look, he's awake again. Monsters slayer my ass. A regular horson. I heard witches all start out as roadside orphans taken in by mages. Mages who experiment on them. <laughs> Folks say they plow witches come the equinox. That's how they get those spooky eyes. Enough! Take him down and put him in the interrogation room. I thought you died. 
I'm not so easy to kill. I don't believe we've been introduced. Vernon Roach. So, interesting enough, Geralt is in jail here. We are a prisoner, friends. Oh, Lord. Wonder what the hell happened. Well, I don't know who this guy is, but he seems like... I don't know. He's at least getting us out of jail from being beating or whatever, pulling us out here. What do you say? Put him in the interrogation room? So I guess we're getting interrogated here, probably. I don't know. Let's just shake his hand, I guess, if we could, perhaps. Walk around behind me if you want to shake. Well, how foolish of me. Vess! Unshackle him. Geralt of Rivia. Care to introduce us? No, thanks. Bring something to drink. We can't sit here cotton mouthed. You will tell me everything you remember. The entire assault. And all that happened in the solar. And if I refuse? I shall have to beat you. I've commanded the special forces for a while. Got good at beating others. You're a witcher. You'd endure much. You better believe it. Worst case scenario, you'll suffer through it, go back to your cell, and tomorrow, they'll publicly gut you, skin you, and hang you. Just like that? For nothing? No. For Tamaria. Downright praiseworthy. Where should I start? It was a long day. I wish to hear the important bits. So we have the morning, the king summoned me, the assault, and we split up at the monastery. So what are we doing here? Are we reliving past memories, I guess, with this... What do you say his name was? Vernon, Vernon Roach? Interesting name. He, his name is Roach. That's the name of uh, Geralt's horse. From the books and such, too. Awesome. Well... I would say if it's in order here, then it's got to be the morning the king summoned me, the assault, we split up at the monastery. I don't know. Let's let's do the morning the king summoned me, I guess. Just so we're clear on this, I was not eager to go into battle, but Foltest is not someone you refuse. This is very interesting, intriguing so far, friends. So we are definitely locked up, and I can only imagine what's for, you know what I mean? Geralt got into trouble in some way. I wonder if it has to do with the uh, witchers slaying kings or whatever the hell's going on here. Oh! What's that behind us, friends? Close your eyes. Looks like a naked Triss Marigold. Yeah, buddy! Holy moly! Hell yeah! Start the game off with a bang, literally. Witcher, are you up? Oh, come on, man. <sighs> His Majesty, King of Tiberia, Pontar, Mahakam, and Sodden, Senior Protector of Bruges, summons Master Geralt to appear before him. Tell him I'll be there shortly. Sorry to intrude like this, my lady, but the King... We heard you. A pleasant day to you, my lady. Witcher. Freaking sea block this, friends. Holy moly. Well, they definitely upgraded the graphics compared to the cards in the first game, huh? Stupid war. 
could have been such a beautiful morning. A war can never be stupid when waged by your king. He ain't my king, Triss. If we're talking about Foltest here, that's your king, girl. So there are no wise wars and people are dying because of a lover spat? I vaguely remember the trailer that we watched, something about Foltest coming here, coming somewhere to get his kids or something like that, remember? It was on the lines of, um, there were two kids and there was some lady, I don't remember her name, but something about him coming for his kids or something, so... People are dying because of a lover's spat? Yeah. Probably that's what probably what's going on here. They've cleared the forests, they're pillaging nearby villages, and they'll soon be murdering each other en masse. Why? Because Foltest's having a spat with the mother of his bastard twins. This is a really stupid war, Triss. Bastards or not, the children are still royal blood. The Lavalettes are an old Temerian dynasty, and the mix is sufficient basis to vie for the crown. History has known stranger contenders. Which doesn't change the fact that... I know. Faltest and the other northern monarchs are neither the smartest nor the most refined. But they're kings, one of whom we serve. And I'll see Foltest is summoned, protect him if need be. But once the castle falls, we leave. Did you dream of the wild hunt again? Mm -hmm. So we have, let's see, we have white ones and yellow. If I'm any indication of how this is going, yellow probably pushes it and white's probably investigation stuff. Let me just say that Triss's voice actress is a lot, it sounds different and I actually like her voice a bit more here, but wow, her model looks crazy good compared to the first one, friends. Like spot on from what I can just picture of Triss. One of the scouts swears he saw a dragon down by the river, claims he ran into a Scoyatel unit. That would have been it if the dragon hadn't swooped down. The elves apparently bowed in prayer and he escaped. A dragon? In the midst of civilization? Oh, please. Besides, does it matter? Witchers don't hunt dragons. Or has something changed? Nothing's changed. And you're right. It's probably not a dragon. Although it could be a forked tail or a slizzard. Maybe even an overgrown wyvern. The scout ran into some elves and scurried away. That's how that story begins and ends. The unlucky assassin? How did the autopsy go? It was a nightmare. In the months since you killed him, the king's medics poked around in his corpse like a bunch of amateurs. What arrived in that cart? Well, I wouldn't even call it a corpse. Foltest has some trust issues. Did you learn anything? His pupils suggested he could probably see in the dark as well as you. I couldn't put an age on him. The killer snuck past all the guards and nearly killed Foltest and me a month ago. And now you tell me he was a witcher? Possibly. I'm just saying what the autopsy showed. I haven't told anyone, nor do I plan to. I know what it could do to you if it got out. You might be a savior, a king's witcher now, but masters can be as fickle as the cults they ride. I get the feeling that dream's important. Running frantically through the forest, the wild hunt. They're the last things I remember. I wake up and try to relive the dream and the memory, hoping I'll find some guidance, some clue to grab onto, something that'll help me recover my memory. Dreams can be very powerful. Some people claim they can even shape reality. People claim a lot of things. The problem is, it's often nonsense. We'll know in time. I'm sure of it. Interesting. So we got Geralt running frantically from the wild hunt that is definitely going to play effect here. Something's Something's plaguing his mind with this wild hunt stuff. And supposedly we saw something about a... Something reported a dragon, which could be interesting. And then she didn't really know anything else about the assassin. Which is unfortunate because now we're kind of just fumbling around trying to figure out what the hell this witcher's motives were. Or if someone paid off a witcher, other witchers might be involved. I mean, who knows, friends? This is so intriguing. I love it so far. Super cool. All right. Time to look to the lustful king and his stupid war. I'll join you later. See ya, Triss. By the king's will, go see King Foltest, baby. All right, friends, I'm going to save here. Look, we still got bleeding effect. 
<laughs> it bugged out. Okay. Um, we're gonna save here. When we head, come back, we'll obviously head into uh, whatever's out there. Some kind of area, field, camp, stronghold, whatever the hell is out there. Who knows, friends? But anyways, I'm out of here. It has been an absolute pleasure to finally bring the uh, Witcher to the channel. It's very much sooner than what I thought. Um, but I just was, just the thoughts possessed me of just wanting to jump back into the Witcher. I found myself just really missing Geralt and then this world. I just had to just jump back into the game immediately. Like, I just needed to and I'm sure once we do this one, <laughs> the third one will be the same way, friends. But anyways, take it easy out there. Until next time, stay safe, friends. I'll see you all then. Have a good one.